Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. In this particular video, we will discuss about the problem A, B, and C of court forces round 924. So basically, uh, these problems which are given here, uh, I have already uh, made a video for the problem D and D, and they are present in the channel. You can check out the video solutions of D and D. They are already present. In this particular video, we will only discuss about A, B, and C. Okay. So let's discuss about one by one all the problems. Let's first discuss about the problem A, which is recovering a small string. See, here the problem is very simple. Here they are saying that there is Nikita has exactly word consisting of three lowercase characters. Okay. And he has the sum of the indices of that character. Right. So, for example, that if uh, Nikita has, let's say, F, A, and Z, so you know that index of A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4, E is 5, F is 6 up to z is 26 that is what they are saying okay so now for example if uh, uh, nikita has this string f a z then its sum sum of index will be 6 plus 1 plus 26 which will be 33 so this 33 is given to you and from this 33 you have to again create a string of size 3 okay of three characters which should be lexicographically smallest for example with 33 the string it is possible is Z, then F, then A. By the way, it is made by re uh, rearranging this thing. You can change it also. Let's say the string is B, B, B. So for B, 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 it will be 6. But what we can do? You can write it, this 6 as A, A, D. So sum of this A, A, D is also 6, but it is lexicographically smallest. So for a given value, you have to find that lexicographically smallest string it is possible. So when I'm saying lexicographically smallest, means you will try that the first character should be lowest, means A. If A is not possible, then B, then C. So initially, I will try to make all the three characters as A, A, A. Am I right? And then on the basis of the number, I will increase it. So see how I, I did it. Let's directly jump to the, uh, the code, then you will understand it clearly. What I did here is that I have initially taken my string as A, A, because A, A, A will always be the answer. Minimum value of your sum will be 3 and can not less than 3. You can see here in the, in the code also. And is from 3 to 78. Okay. So minimum A is always the solution. Means you have taken 3 indexes. You have taken A, A, A. And then you subtracted 3 from the N. Now if still N is greater than 0. Now first you will try to increase the value of A. You will try to make A to B to C to C up to, up to Z. Until it is not Z, you will try. So for example, if n is there, if the value of n is 25 or less than 25, okay, for example, value of n remaining n is 25, so you can add that 25 to this last day, this last day will become z and remaining can be as it is. And if after adding 25 to this last, means for example, you made a to z, is still there is some remaining n, then you can again check that for the next first, means this one. And if it's still there is some remaining n, you can go out to the last. That is what I am taking. First, I am taking a, a, then starting from the back, I am trying to increase the character up to max what they can be. Right? That is what it is there. If you have any doubt regarding this code, you can join the telegram. In telegram, we will discuss the doubts and you can also uh, comment it down. Okay? Now, the problem B. Let's discuss the problem B, which is make equal. So this problem B is again, you know, a very easy problem. I will not say it's a difficult problem because in this problem B, they are saying that there is just some containers. Okay. And they are saying that in each container is a water AI. Now what you can do, you can take water from container I, you can take from container I and you can put that to container J. Okay. And by doing this at the last, all the containers should have equal amount of water. Should have equal amount of water. And it is also given that the sum of AI means the sum of whole water is divisible by N means it is possible. It is possible to divide the whole water into N part, but whether it is possible or not. Let, let's tell you how it is, uh, how it cannot be possible. For example, if you will take this, this example, okay. So the example is 4550, then 644. The total sum of water here is 14. 24, 28. And if you will take the, uh, no, I think not 28. So 14 and 14, 28. Yeah. And total, okay. Yeah. 
and total there are you will see there are seven containers so if you will take 28 by 7 4 means in each container that should be four water four amount of water that should be there if there is no four amount of water you will make it from one to another you have to make four in every container for example in this first you have four yeah you have four neither you have more neither you have less in next container you have five means one more than four what you can do you can take one from here means you have one extra from here you can make it four and then you can add that one to the next one now here you have six so again you want four here it's six so means you can again make it to four and take two extra add here now here you want four but here it's two and you cannot even take it from the back because you cannot uh, so you cannot take it from the front you can only take it from the back and from back you can only get two amount of water from here one from here one you cannot take more than two means it is not possible and you can see that for this solution it is no so what we are doing is we will go from here we will go from move from here and in each at least there should be four water if there is not we can take from back also means means what basically my meaning is that till here till here there should be four amount of water next there should be at least eight amount of water because you cannot take water from the forward till here there could at least 12 amount of water till here till here there is 16 amount of water so till here it was good there was 12 amount of water even more than that but here it got filled right so what i we are doing here is what we are doing here is that i am first finding the sum so this sum vector will find the sum of the all the water and this x is basically the mean means in each how much water should be there now i am iterating and we are having the current sum means water till now now water till now if it is less than i plus 1 into x i plus 1 is the number of container where we are so i is the index so if we are at the zeroth index that means the first container so in that first container there should be at least x amount of water now till the second container there should be 2x amount of water then 3x amount of water and so on if the water is less than that we cannot take it from the forward right because from i we can give to j only so if there's any point at any point the current sum is less than the required number of water we will say print no pn is print no we will return else we will say print yes right that's the next solution if you have any doubt again you can join a telegram or you can ask in the comment section now third video uh, third problem is make equal again so this is again you know a very easy problem i will say not very easy but yeah it's a good problem here what you can do is here you have an array and you can select three numbers what you can take three numbers i j and x so what is this i and j i and j are two indexes so what you can do you can choose these two indexes and then you can change all the numbers between those indexes to x and you can do this operation only one and by doing this operation you have to make the whole array equal for example in this case if you will take this much part of the array from i from index 1 to i index 4 and you can change this whole part to 1 for example if your array is like this so you can select this much part and you can change this whole part to 1 and then the whole array will become 1 that is what you want so how much part you selected you selected part of size 4 4 is the answer you have to tell the minimum part that needs to be selected for example if the array is like this so in this case this whole part is not required you can just take this much part and convert it to one remaining are already one for example the case is like this in this case see you can only take the substring so either you have to make the whole array equal to 5 or the whole array equal to 4 see which is more so from here you will see that 5 is present only one time means you need at least 4 operations from here 4 is also present one time you need 4 operations to be changes to 4 or these 4 to 5 means 4 is the answer ok but if there is 4 present 2 times then you will change simply to 4 then you will not change this all to 5 you want less right so what I did I try started from the left side and I started from the right side and I check which are the uh, like how many equal elements are there. For example, if you will see in this case, if you will see in this case, from left side there are three eights, from right side there are three eights. 
means remaining part also make to it which is two two is the answer but in some cases the starting and last part are not equal for example here in a starting there is two nines here in end there is only one three so you will take maximum of that you will take two nines and remaining also will make equal to nine okay so how i did this code if you will see here how i did it so i first check the left let's starting from the left how many elements are equal then from the right how many elements are equal now if the first and last elements are also equal that means left elements and right elements are equal add them just like here 8 from left and 8 from right they are equal so add them simply and if maybe adding them is exceeding 9 so we have to take minimum of n comma whatever the value is because that add cannot be more than n but if they are not same let's say here it's 9 and here it's 3 in that case we have to take the maximum one so take the maximum here this minimum was not needed but it's fine take the maximum and finally this is the set that we don't need to change the remaining numbers n minus this sum will be your answer that is what we have to do here so guys these are three basic code i will uh, share the link of all these code in the, in the comment section you can check it out and if you have any doubt guys you can join a telegram channel there we discuss post contest discussions and other opportunities also you can also comment if you have any doubt you can like the video please comment helpful if it is helpful subscribe to the channel and in the, in the channel i have already uploaded a video of the other solutions d e and f so you can check that also thank you for watching this particular video see you in the next video thank you